In this video I'll show you 10 epic DIY clothes ideas which will transform your closet from plain and boring to absolutely stunning and unique. Hey, where'd you get your clothes? You mean these amazing shoes? My shorts? Shirt? I made them! You're right! I did! I can show you how! Come on! Okay! because today we're gonna be pimping up our clothes. I'm gonna show you 10 epic DIYs and life hacks on how to transform your old clothes into brand new pieces. And be warned because I went all out and revamped my tops, shorts, jeans, shoes, accessories and so much more. <gasps> Yes. This video is also a collab with Maddie from Maserly09 channel. We wanted to get you guys all ready for summer, so here you will learn how to get a perfect summer wardrobe while Maddie will show you a bunch of epic summer DIYs. Make sure to check out her video, it will be linked at the end of this tutorial and in the description bar. But now it's time to sort out our closet, so let's get started. First off, let's make some super trendy patched jeans. This is such a great and easy way to give a new life to your jeans, shorts or denim jackets. All you need are some jeans, an iron, plus some patches and optionally clothes pins. Take your jeans and choose the patches you like. I wanna start with cherries and this alien. Place them on your jeans and cover with a cotton cloth. I run for about a minute or as long as it takes for your patches to stick to the jeans. How cute is this panda? OMG, I love it! You can find a great selection of iron-on patches online or in craft stores. The reason I'm using the cotton cloth when ironing on the patches is simply to protect the embroidery and to assure that it doesn't get burned. To finish off our jeans I decided to add some pins as well. Here I have a yummy lemonade and a delicious ice cream. The last little detail is this pretty palm tree and my pad jeans are all done. I absolutely love how they turned out. Patch jeans and denim jackets are so trendy right now. I've seen them everywhere this season and I'm not complaining because I think they're very cool. Plus, they are super easy to DIY. I got my jeans in a thrift store for 5 bucks. I spent a few more dollars on patches and there you have unique and trendy pair of patch jeans for less than 10 bucks. What a steal! Next I'll show you how to make this totally gorgeous donut floppy hat. I repeat, donut floppy hat. I mean, come on, if this doesn't win summer's best accessory prize, then I don't know. For this DIY, you will need a floppy hat, palette for the paint, acrylic or fabric paint, and paint brushes. Choose the color of your donut's glaze, I'm going for pink, and apply it all over the brim of your hat. You can look up some donut pictures online for color inspiration, but I think such pink glazed donuts are a classic. It's time to decorate our donut hat with colorful sprinkles. Starting with lime green, I'm using a medium round brush to make short lines all over the hat. Draw the sprinkles in different directions to make it look more realistic. Besides green, I also added some white and blue sprinkles for a colorful pop. Yay, we're all done with this seriously the most beautiful summer hat I've ever seen. A total cuteness overload. I think the idea is so unique and creative, plus it looks amazing on pictures, which is always a bonus nowadays. Am I right? I think so. Keeping your hat protected from the sun is so important and now that's not even an issue. I wanna wear it on cloudy days as well because it's just too beautiful not to. An awesome tie-dye using sharpies? Sounds crazy, I know, but wait until you see it. This method is just hands down so cool. All you need is a plain white shirt, some rubbing alcohol, dropper and sharpies. Place a cardboard or a piece of plastic inside your shirt to prevent the color transferring to the back. Take a bunch of colorful permanent markers and it's time to make some magic. I'm starting with a blue dot. Then I'm taking a pink sharpie and I'm gonna make four pink dots around the blue one. My third color is emerald green and I'm drawing four more dots like that. Fill the dropper with some rubbing alcohol and drip the desired amount of drops on the center of the sharpie design. Look at this cool marble watercolor effect, I don't know how to call it, but isn't it awesome? Let's make another one. The more drops of alcohol you use, the further the sharpie ink will spread and the larger your design will be. I like my marbly circles to be of a medium size, so I drip about 10 to 15 drops of alcohol for each design. I'm gonna decorate my entire shirt with the marbly flowers. If you want, you can just make them on a part of your shirt. Maybe do like a heart or stripes made of these colorful flowers. The possibilities are endless. 
The front of my shirt is all colored, so it's time to flip it around and take care of the back as well. This technique of fabric painting is seriously so much fun. It's so interesting to watch how the dots transform into lovely flowers. I've left the bottom part white since I'm gonna cut it and make a cropped knot T. Take your scissors and cut along the masking tape edge, making sure that you're cutting only the back fabric of your shirt. Make a cut on the left and right side. Then make a short vertical cut on the front fabric like that. Lastly, you wanna make two diagonal cuts from the center to the sides of the shirt. Voila! Our epic crop tee is all done, looking fantastic, right? <laughs> of course not! We still have to tie the front into a knot. This is why all the cutting was for. Now that's what we're talking about. To make sure the colors won't fade away while washing, set the marker ink into the fabric by ironing for 5 minutes or placing the shirt in the dryer for 15 minutes. Anyway, what an epic transformation of a boring white t-shirt. I'm sure you have some old white shirts at the back of your closet. This is a perfect DIY life hack to recycle them. Years back when I found out that laying or walking on clouds is not possible, I was pretty upset. Fast forward to now, I'm pretty thrilled that at least I found a way to have clouds walking with me everywhere I go. This is how you can make your own cloud shoes. Take some white sneakers, blue fabric paint, palette for the paint, self-adhesive paper and a paintbrush. First we gotta make some cloud stencils. Sketch a cloud on a piece of self-adhesive paper and cut it out with scissors. Make a bunch of these, some smaller and some larger because clouds come in all shapes and sizes. Remove the shoelace from your sneakers to make the painting part easier. Stick the paper clouds all over the shoes. I'm keeping mine kind of diagonally aligned, but feel free to stick them on randomly. After all, clouds are randomly floating in the sky. Take a blue fabric paint and start coloring your sneakers. To get a sharp and neat clouds edge, always move the brush away from the stencil. This way the paint won't be able to sneak under the sticker and cause a mess. When the shoes are completely colored in blue, we can remove the stencils and reveal all the beautiful white fluffy clouds. Hello gorgeous! Let's put the shoelace back on and we're ready to rock them. You know what they say, give a girl the right pair of shoes and she will conquer the world. I don't know what kind of shoes they had in mind, but I can definitely see myself conquering the world with these cloudy sneakers. They're just too cute. Although I must point out that they can be a bit distracting in conquering the world because all I want to do is admire them and take pictures of them all day. Tie-dye shorts are very difficult to find in stores, plus they can be pretty expensive. But that's not a problem for me and you guys, because we can simply DIY them. You need white shorts or jeans and tie-dye plus some extra tools. I'm cutting the white pants about half an inch lower than the edge of the yellow shorts. This is because we need some extra fabric to make them distressed. It's very handy to use a pair of shorts that fit you perfectly as a guide. Take your tweezers and start pulling out some of the threads all along the cut edge. You can also use a fork, nail file or sandpaper to make them all scruffy. When you're happy with how they look, take some masking tape and stick a piece across the shorts in the front and at the back. This will be our guide for the coloring. Start pouring your dye, mine is green, up to the masking tape. The color will bleed through, tape works just as a guide. Turn the shorts around and again dye them up to the masking tape. Time to take our second color, for me that's red, and color the bottom part of the shorts as well. Don't go too far up, because the color will slowly bleed upwards anyway. In the middle, the two colors will create a beautiful blue and orange gradient. Just wait and see. Leave the shorts to set for about one hour and throw them in a wash. Here are my shorts all nice and dry. I'm gonna put on some studs to make them look even more awesome. With help of scissors or a knife, secure the studs on the back pockets. I'm using six golden studs designed into a little triangle on each of the pockets. We gotta add that little extra on the front as well. Here I went for smaller triangle design using three studs on each side. I am completely in love with these shorts. Now that's what we can call an extreme makeover, right? From plain white pants to totally amazing statement shorts. This looks so playful, edgy, a bit hipster, but most of all, so unique. By the way, don't judge me, this is my very first time skateboarding, so I think I did pretty well, most of the time. Another huge trend right now are choker necklaces. I love how they look, plus they are very easy to DIY. Today I'm gonna show you a couple of different styles and the first one is this cool charm necklace. All you need is a string and a charm. Cut about one meter long piece of string. I'm using an artificial velvet looking cord. Take the charm of your choice and thread the string through the loop. 
To tie the choker, cross the string at the back of your neck and bring the ends forward. Make a little knot in the front and you're ready to rock your very own choker necklace. You can also simply tie it with a bow at the back of your neck. Make one for yourself or give it to a friend. This is such a pretty little gift. I think choker necklaces look extra gorgeous paired with off-shoulder shirts. Besides that, I put on some skinny high-waisted jeans and a hat to complete the look. It is broadly known that bleach can make our clothes lighter. But did you guys know that you can actually write, draw and make awesome designs on clothes using bleach? This life hack is so cool and unique. Take an old pair of jeans, scissors, bleach, some water, cornstarch and a plastic bag. I want to make denim shorts out of these long jeans, so I'm starting by cutting away the excess fabric. This time I'm making cuffed shorts, so I don't want to cut them too short. When both sides are cut, roll the edges up two or three times. Now it's time for the fun part, decorating with bleach. Of course, for First we have to make bleach gel. Mix together half a cup of water and a tablespoon of cornstarch in a double boiler. Constantly stir until the mixture thickens up and you get a gel-like consistency. Remove from the heat and add about 2 tablespoons of bleach. Mix well to combine and then pour the bleach gel into a squeeze tube or a plastic bag. Make a knot and cut away the corner of the bag. Our DIY bleach gel pen is all ready to use. I decided to draw a bunch of flowers on the shorts. First I made a little dot and then short stripes all around to represent the petals. I'm making different sizes of flowers. First one was pretty small, so now it's time to make a bigger flower. Drawing with bleach gel is seriously so much easier than I thought. Instead of flowers, you can draw anything else, like hearts, Aztec print, or you can even write words. When you're done drawing, wait for at least one hour so that the bleach sets. The longer you leave it on your fabric, the whiter your fabric will get. Take a piece of cardboard paper and scrape the bleach off to reveal the awesome white flowers underneath. How pretty! Time to flip the shorts around and draw a lot of small and big flowers all over the back as well. Having a DIY bleach gel is also handy for removing stains. Keep it in a squeeze tube and it should should last you months. Remove the bleach gel from the back of the shorts with a cardboard paper. Throw them in the wash and there we have our new totally awesome flower shorts made out of bleach. I love how these turned out and I'm gonna wear them loads. Besides denim, you can also use bleach gel to decorate colored shirts. Whatever you apply it, the shirt will turn white. I paired my shorts with a white crochet sweater, some sneakers for a relaxed, casual but still very cute look. You guys know my obsession with Galaxy. I've already done Galaxy shoes, bag, nails and now I want to make a Galaxy t-shirt as well. <laughs> yep, the struggle is real. But sorry not sorry because who doesn't like Galaxy DIYs? I love them. We'll need a black t-shirt, masking tape, palette for the paint, fabric paint in white, pink and blue and sponge applicators. Lay your shirt on a flat surface. Place a piece of cardboard or plastic inside the shirt to prevent the colors transferring to the back. I want to make a cool triangle Galaxy design. So here I'm sticking three pieces of masking tape to form a big triangle in the center of my tee. Time to grab the fabric paints and create our mysterious galaxy. Dip the sponge applicator in blue and start applying it in circles or half circles inside your triangle. Leave the center of these circles black because this is where we're gonna apply lighter colors. I created an outline of three galaxies. Go in with white paint and apply it in the center of each galaxy. Now mix up a bit of blue and white paint to create a light blue shade. Apply it between the white and dark blue to help blend the colors and make a nice gradient. I like to apply a touch of pink in the center of each galaxy because it just makes the design richer and more interesting. Okay, we're now ready to decorate this shirt with a lot of stars. With a flat brush dipped in white paint, start making plus signs to represent the bigger stars. I'm drawing them closer together in the center of the galaxies and then less and less moving out. Make a lot of little white dots to fill the space around the bigger stars. To make this you can use a toothpick or a q-tip. The stars really bring the design together and make it look epic. Remove the masking tape to reveal our perfect triangle galaxy design. So absolutely gorgeous, right? I want to make my t-shirt a bit cropped, so let's take the scissors and snip away about 5 centimeters of fabric at the bottom edge. There we go! Our triangle galaxy cropped tee is finished and looking stunning. If you want, you can make galaxy design over your entire shirt. I however really like how this triangle shape turned out. I think it looks very wearable, neat and a bit edgy. I paired it with some high-waisted denim shorts and of course my galaxy shoes. 
I have another super easy and totally adorable shoes DIY to show you. Sprinkle shoes. Aren't these the cutest? And the best part is that they only take a minute to make, I promise. You need some fabric markers and a pair of sneakers. All we gotta do is draw colorful sprinkles all over the shoes. I like using fluorescent colors to make my shoes look bright and happy. To make the design more realistic, draw the sprinkles in different directions. This way it looks like they were randomly sprinkled on your shoes. Instead of fabric markers, you can totally use fabric or acrylic paint to draw the sprinkle. Especially if your shoes are darker, this will probably work best as fabric markers only work well on lighter materials. Voila, probably the easiest DIY ever, but still absolutely gorgeous. This sprinkles technique can also be used to decorate shirts, shorts, school bag, you name it. At the end of the day, everything looks so much better with sprinkles all over, right? Because chokers are such a big thing right now, I had to include at least two in this tutorial. As opposed to the one that I showed you earlier, this one is much more girly as it's made out of lace. To make it, you need any kind of flowery lace, a piece of string, button, scissors, glue, plus thread and a needle. Take your flowery lace garland and wrap it around your neck to measure how long piece you need. Cut away any excess. Take your button, thread and a needle and start sewing the button on one of the lace ends. This way we're gonna make a very neat and pretty button closure that will make it easier to put the choker on and off. Secure the button in place with a knot and trim away the excess thread. Button is ready, now it's time to make this loop on the other end. You wanna stick it to the back side of the lace so it won't be visible while wearing the choker. Take a piece of string, fold it like that and stick it on. Wait for the glue to dry and that's it! You can easily make a bracelet in the same way as well. Just use a shorter piece of lace to fit your wrist. This choker is so cute and girly. I'm wearing it with a little lace shirt, high-waisted skirt and of course my donut hat. Anyway, I had a great time transforming my boring clothes into epic pieces that I know I will wear all the time. I hope you guys got some inspiration and will try these ideas out. With all these epic DIYs, I'm sure your closet is now totally on fleek. Let me know in the comments which one you think is the coolest. I really like the donut hat but I think all of them turned out amazing. Don't forget to check out Maddie's video and subscribe to her channel. She makes beautiful DIY and lifestyle tutorials that I know you guys will love. Thank you so much for watching, I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye! Take a look at the back of the closet or take a trip to the thrift store. By giving old clothes a new life, you will refresh your wardrobe, save a lot of money and help protect the environment. So happy crafting!